Do you want to become a pro artist? You may be someone who has never drawn before, or maybe you're actually an artist who draws a lot, or maybe like me, someone who draws but never took their art seriously enough. Today, that's gonna change. I'm about to share with you my ultimate strategy that will take my art to the next level while I'm making this Megan Thee Stallion illustration on the background. But first, what does art even mean? According to the dictionary, Art is the expression or application of human creative skill and imagination. That's quite a really broad term for me. I'm only gonna be talking here about drawing and painting side of it. This summer, I had the chance to spend a lot of my time with family members. And one thing that I noticed is that every kid was begging me for art supplies. And these are very young kids. They don't know how to read, they don't know how to write. Yet, all they ever wanted was paints, pencils, paper, and by just giving them that, they would draw for long periods of time and be happy and have fun. Which remind me of my younger self, I used to be just like that. But now, drawing has become this huge burden and this huge task that I always procrastinate. It's no longer fun, it's scary and it's stressful. And this is coming from someone who doesn't even do art professionally. I think that the root cause of this dates back to my first Instagram account. Back in 2018, I started posting my art on Instagram and I used to get really sad when I didn't get enough likes. Soon enough, I realized that my art needed a lot of improvement in order to get those likes. So what I did was to look for a way to make my art better and this opened a whole new world to me. But at the cost of my artistic freedom, I developed this idea that I should never draw until I learn how to draw. To be honest, I would blame certain artists who say, don't draw your OCs, draw anatomy first. So yeah, after that, picking up a pencil to draw became harder and harder each day. And I tried many, many times to pick up the habit of drawing, but I always failed to stay consistent. That's why my first goal is to turn drawing into a consistent habit, just like I did with the gym recently. I was finally able to stay consistent with it because I had this realization that my health would not wait for me to get my life together. But the biggest contributor in my opinion was having my friend become my gym buddy. We go there three times a week on specific times on specific dates. I can never let her down. And I think that accountability is something that I really need in order to build a habit. I think one way I could hold myself accountable with art is by using YouTube. I should start posting on one specific day in the week on a specific time and talk about what I learned during that week. I also picked the Atomic Habit book to help me learn how to build a drawing habit. I'm still reading it, but so far I've learned a few things. First of all, habits are these small actions that compound over time to give you significant results. So don't feel discouraged if you're not seeing any improvement at first. In order to build a habit, you have to start from your identity. Personally, I have to call myself an artist. I do believe that I'm one, but I'm still struggling with the confidence, which will only get stronger if I take more actions such as doing more illustrations, filling more sketchbooks to prove that I am actually an artist. Lastly, I learned that there are four major phases for each habit, the cue, the craving, the response, and the reward. For me, this could be seeing my tablet on my desk and my art supplies and my sketchbook. Having easy access to my art supplies means that I'm at least I would doodle something, just like I did back in school. I used to never draw at home, but once I'm in a lecture, having a pen in my head, I would mindlessly start doodling out of habit. So eventually I will end up with some drawing and that would be my reward. And if I need more rewards, I could always post it on social media or send it to a friend to get compliments. But here we face a major problem. Even if we build a drawing habit, Doodling mindlessly will not improve our art. Maybe it will in a very, very long period of time. So we need to be efficient by setting up a plan. 
and luckily, we live in 2024, where everything is online and some of it is even free. And I don't know if you've known about this, there is this solo artist curriculum created by Radio Runners. It has nine terms and each one has three units that focus on different fundamentals from perspective to figure drawing to color theory to storytelling and many more. This curriculum is really great for me. Personally, it does focus on the things that I really want to work on while also providing me with the resources that I should be using, free or paid, and also some art challenges to push me more. I've already finished two terms, draw box and figure drawing, and I'm currently working on the creative composition one. There are plenty other curriculums provided for free on the internet. Just find one that works for you and just don't make the mistake that I always make, which is get stuck on the academic and theoretic side of it and forget about the creative and self-expression. Many instructors advise that you should find balance. For example, modern day James say that if you only learn the rules of your art, you won't know how to explore it creatively. And if you only focus on creative exploration, you won't learn how to create effectively within the rules of your art form. Uncomfortable mentioned this on the Drawbox lessons where he talked about the 50% rule. Learn for 50% and do whatever you want on the other 50% of your drawing time. And let's say for instance that we have accomplished all that was said in this video, that we have drawn consistently, that we've learned art fundamentals and that we were able to express ourselves creatively. Is that enough for us to be labeled pro artist or do we need to make money from our art? I find this subject conflicting. I have been working as an ER nurse for two years now. The job is good, but it's mentally and physically draining. The night shift, the stress, the disrespect, the low paycheck. I don't see myself doing it for a very long period of time. I want to become a full-time artist someday, but I'm terrified by that by doing so, I will put this burden on my art and it has to be made a certain way, marketed toward a certain demographic and is my art even good enough for me to get paid? <sighs> I think I'm overthinking it. For now, I'll just go back to the first point of this video and I will only try to build a habit first and think about the other problems as they unfold on the future. I have already created this timetable, just like I did with the gym, where I focus on art Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday and Sunday. For each day, I will have a designated task, studying lessons, applying it, doing a master study, and then doing something creative. I don't want to set the goal to draw every day, cause I think that's gonna overwhelm me and I'm gonna fail eventually. So yeah, I'm only gonna be drawing 4 days a week for now. If I succeed on that, I will change it up. But I have enough confidence from my experience with the gym that I can actually draw for 4 days a week. Simultaneously, I will be posting weekly videos here on YouTube in order to give you updates and stay consistent and have accountability. Hope you have a great day, don't forget to watch my other videos where I've early accomplished my Dawa box 